We have just discussed the integrals of the form integral of, um, say, sine of x the power of m cosine the power of n of x dx. And we concentrated on the cases where m and n are both odd, but we didn't discuss a situation where both m and n are even. So we need now to look at a situation where uh, m and n are both even. So if m and n are both even, non-negative, integers what do we do so if m and n are both even and negative integers we use we use a half angle identities which ones the first one will be sine squared of x equal to half 1 minus the cosine of 2x. The second one is cosine squared of x equal to half 1 plus the cosine of 2x. And then it may be helpful To combine these identities with um, the identity sine of x times the cosine of x equal to half the sine of 2x, which I believe you know. So let us just take an example. Let us evaluate the integral of sine squared of x cosine to the power of 4 of x dx, like that. In this case, we note that both are even. So, it is better to look at it in this way, that okay, you can rewrite this as sine squared of x, cosine squared of x, cosine squared of x, dx. Then if you manage to look at it in this manner, then it will be easy to see that this can be written as sine of x, cosine of x, all squared, cosine squared of x, dx. This now brings us to this identity, which will give us a half, let me write here half, sine of 2x, all squared, cosine squared of x, dx, like that. And um, we can write 1 over 4 the integral of sine squared of 2x cosine of cosine squared of x dx like that now after doing that we can see they are both squared here you can write 1 over 4 uh, then we apply our identity sine squared of 2x integral here come to this one it's times 1 over 2 into 1 plus cosine of 2x dx 
like that. We apply the identity for that one. We may apply the identity also for this one. Um, we'll see. So if we remove the brackets, this times that it's 1 over 8. The integral of sine squared of 2x uh, dx plus 1 over 8. The integral of sine squared of 2x cos 2x dx like that. And then it is um, easy to see that this can be integrated, but we still have a problem here. So we apply the identity again. We bring in, maybe I should do it slowly, it's 1 over 8 here, the integral. That identity will say 1 over 2. This is sine, so it will be 1 minus, 1 minus cosine of twice this angle, which will be 4x like that, dx plus 1 over 8, the integral of sine squared 2x cosine of 2x dx, like that. And um, this is giving us 1 over 16, the integral of 1 minus cosine of 4x dx, plus 1 over 8, the integral of sine squared of 2x, cosine of 2x, dx. Now, you can do your u substitution, or straight away, you will be able to see that the integral of 1 with respect to x is just x. So, we end up with x over 16 for that part. When we come to this, you can let your u to be a 4x, and then when you differentiate, you get a 4, then it will bring 1 over 4. 1 over 4 times 1 over 16, it's a 1 over 64. 1 over 64, and then what did we differentiate to get cosine? We differentiated the sine of 4x, like that. Then similarly, in this case, on the other side, we have got a plus sign here. If you let sine of 2x to be your u, its derivative will give you a, a half, a two, a cos, a 2 cos 2x dx, and then your du will have a half. So you end up with 1 over 2 sine of this squared dx, this is, or uh, let me say u squared dx and the du, du. So, the, the 2 will give us 1 over 60, and then the integral of that one will give us sine cube of 2x divided by 3 plus c which of course is giving us x over 16 minus 1 over 64 sine of 4x plus 1 over 48 sine cube of 2x plus c you may verify this by just using the ordinary u substitution for, for this one. You let your u to be the sign of 2x, you differentiate that, then you will find that you are going to end up there. Um, thank you. This example is uh, important to us. It was supposed to be done before we deal with um, uh, powers of tangent and secant. I just... Uh, skipped it by mistake. Thank you.